welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt, and in this session we're going to go over the input section here at the top of the virtual SSL mixer that comes in Reason, and we're also going to go over the inserts here, and of course the insert section here in the master bus channel. I just want to let you know that all the videos that I'm doing on the mixer, I've made a playlist here on the YouTube channel so you can find them all easy uh, right here in this section, Reasons SSL Mixer Series. Okay, so let's get to it. Here we go. This is the gain knob and I go over that in gain staging, the, the video I made on gain staging and of course this, this knob here is all about controlling the input signal that comes right into the track. And here we have the invert phase switch. Uh, press it to engage it and press it again to turn it off. It's that simple. But what would you use it for? Basically, you use it when, um, if you're recording something with multiple microphones, like a drum set or maybe on your acoustic, uh, you have two or three uh, two guitars uh, or three guitars or you know two microphones on a guitar you, you you know these microphones might pick up a signal from another audio source and uh, record it you know at a different time thus what you're gonna have is a lack of low end so what you can do is uh, say you have uh, you recorded a drum set and you have five microphones here what you do is solo each track and just listen to it and see if it lacks low end. And, you know, press the invert switch. If you hear a difference, then it's out of phase. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's about that simple. Not very complicated. Next, we have the signal path. And um, that gives us actually four different possibilities for routing the signal between the dynamic section, the EQ section, and the insert section. And it's pretty cool and it gives you options, tons of options. So let, let's go over the four different options and, and you know, why would you want to, uh, you know, change the signal path this way? Okay, first we're, we'll go over the dynamics, then EQ, and then insert. In this configuration, the compressor comes first and it tames the peaks in the track. The EQ is next, opening up uh, options for sound sculpting. But with no compressor or limiter following uh, you know, the EQ to compensate for any boost that you, know, you might make in the EQ, this can lead to clipping further down the road. Um, so the most obvious choice for your insert is going to be another compressor. You know, you would use this uh, would be a great setting for drums. You know, your, your signal's super dynamic, so it hits the compressor first, and then you add some EQ, and then you, you could add in another compressor just, just to make sure that dynamic instrument is not clipping. That's what I use this setting for, drums. Next we have the EQ dynamic and then insert uh, configuration. And this puts the EQ uh, in front of the compressor. And the most musical choice for an insert effect here would be another EQ in order to uh, get a very specific uh, frequency curve uh, dialed in. Uh, let's go to the next one. Insert EQ Dynamics. This is the best configuration for a safe mixing. You know, if you're, you're not really into, uh, how do I put it, not ex that experienced at mixing, and you don't want to, you want to prevent clips, <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. Uh, you can make some bold choices in the insert effect slot and really get some fun uh, into your track but um, and being aggressive 
well, dialing in uh, the frequencies you want with your EQ, and then the compressor will be there to even everything out. And last but not least, we have the Insert Dynamics EQ. This configuration puts the compressor after the insert effect, which is good for safety, but with the EQ at the end, this configuration is best for an experienced engineer who uses EQ as their primary mixing tool, even when fine tuning a mix. I mean, this is for people who really are experienced. Um, I never use it this way. I'm more of a, I, I usually use uh, the first one or the, the third one. That's just me. But, you know, you have four different ways to configure this, and it gives you options, and that is super cool. Next, we have the filters to dynamic sidechain section. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video on that, and that one will be coming out on Wednesday. So let's talk about the insert section here. And... Let me go over just what the, the main difference here is between the insert section and the send section. The insert section actually, in, you know, it injects the signal right into the signal path. And the send section, it blends in the effect and allows you to specifically change the volume of the effect while not affecting the signal. That's the main difference. So as we're looking here at the insert section here, what you're looking at is a combinator. You've got a combinator in each channel here and on the master channel. And, and we all know what a combinator can do and it's extremely powerful. So if you want to call up a combinator patch, you just press the browse here. You can go in your factory sound banks. Uh, let's go into all effects. And you can pull up a dynamics here. And say we're on drums. Uh, we can just put in a, a, a drum exciter. And when we do that, you can see right here, it's, it's just like a combinator. You have your four buttons and you can turn them off, you know, dial in the, the, the knob and everything. And if we go to the rack, you'll see right here, it's, it's a combinator. And you can go in and you can uh, edit the, the combinator any way you want. So with, you know, having the combinator here on every channel, I mean, you can, you can uh, scroll through the different uh, patches right there and try it out as you're, you're listening. Uh, you can, you, you can uh, save the patch right there. You can edit it by clicking the button right there. We'll open it up and you can edit it. And uh, you can bypass it right here. So, so it's pretty cool. And over here on the master section, it's the same thing. But what you're going to be doing is using this insert mainly for mastering. That's, that would be your, your most logical choice to use inserts here on the bus channel. So you do your mixing, and when you're all done mixing and you're ready to master, that's when you're going to go over here and call up you know, your master combinator, and you know, you're, you're either going to use a default one or you're going to you know, make your own. You know, maybe with some rack extensions or, or the stuff that just comes with reason. And, you know, anybody who does mastering, what they're going to do is have a bunch, you know, they're going to have some EQs, some compressors, they might even put some meters in there. And you can, you can do that in a combinator, and then you can, you can go right here, press the insert, uh, edit here, and then you can go in there and configure it any way you want. And then you can set up uh, your combinator so you can sit here looking at the main level here, adjusting it as you need. You can use your uh, bus compressor and uh, use the knobs here. You know, if you want to add in a little EQ or take it away, 
however your setting is, you have it right here on, you know, you're sitting right in the mix, on the mixer, which is, I just think it's freaking awesome. They really did this mixer right. And out of all the DAWs I've ever used, if you just get your head wrapped around this mixer, it's going to open up a world of possibilities and, and your mixes are going to start sounding amazing and it's just so easy to use. So let's, let's, let's put this insert into action and, and just see how you can just dial in something and, and try stuff out as you're uh, mixing. So what I want to do is I want to I want to add an insert here to uh, my vocal here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a parallel channel here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to make a parallel channel right here. Then I'm going to I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to I'm going to route them to a new bus and I'm going to call it my my vocal uh, my Vox. Sub. I like my subs uh, all to be red. There you go. Okay, so let's let's see what we can look for, and we'll just listen to the you know try and get. I want to add a special effect to um, my uh, my vocal here, and uh, see what we can come up with. Okay, I'm going to put the the vocal on a loop. So we can go in here and I want to find a, a cool effect here for it. I look to the left and you know I should have looked to the right. I'm going to go up here to maybe all effects. I'm going to go to something pattern based. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. And what I'm going to do, Seems like everything I do gets wrapped there you go. Up so damn tight. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. Okay, so I'm going to scroll through here and uh, maybe try this one. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. Let's solo that. Seems like everything I do gets wound up. So damn tight. I like that. And now I can just bring it all the way out. And I can just add it in. It's parallel processing, but I'm using the insert as a cool effect. Just to get it in there. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. You can just hear it. If you're listening in headphones, you just you can hear it in the background. Just slightly. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. And now we can go in and edit it. What, what it's set at here. Let's sync the tempo when things just don't go right. of the envelope. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. So I just, in real time, I made a, a little parallel setup here and uh, used an insert. And, and the thing is now, w with this, I can, I can scroll through this. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. I can solo it and scroll through them. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. It's pretty cool how you can sit here and just scroll through these and see if uh, you, you can find something that you like. You know, go through the presets in real time as you're as you're uh, mixing. Seems 
like everything I do gets wound up. I like this uh, this other one here. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. So that's how easy it is to use the input section here and uh, you know the gain knob and the the the, the invert phase and uh, the inserts section here which is a it's a combinator that's all it is it's a it, you have a combinator on every track and then you mass you make yourself these most am amazing mastering combinators you know put this put put together a mastering combinator maybe we'll have to do a video on that but um that's pretty much it and uh i want to just touch on a little gain staging here what you're listening to here is is a very static mix it's a rough i mean it's just four tracks and a very rough vocal you know i've been sick all this week and I just sang it in, and it's it's you know, it's in time. That's what that's the most important thing. But it's there's not much. There's, there's only four tracks here, but because of the gain structure being solid at the beginning, and you can watch all the levels right across, and they're 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 hanging right around ten. I got my uh, my uh, level here right around six. I want you to listen to the separation of the different, the four different entities uh, in this mix. The drums, the piano, me, and the guitar. You can go way down low and you, and, and you still hear the separation. And the reason you can do that is because you have a proper gain structure. You know, as you go down, this instrument isn't falling, you know, way way out of volume because it's it's lined up properly in the gain structure so i'm um, just check that out i'll let this play for a minute or so and uh i look forward to seeing you in the next video and that will be on wednesday and we'll be going over the filters to dynamic section side chain and um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask them on uh, the youtube channel on the learnreason.com, uh, Google, or Twitter. And uh, you guys take care. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. And you know I should have looked to the right There are times in my life when things just don't go right Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight